Hello friends, if you are having trouble with CAT VARC, then please try Bodhi Prep's VARC course designed by me. For details, read the message in the video description below. Let's try solving this question now. And again, we have five sentences given to us. Four of these can be arranged to form a coherent paragraph. And the one that does not fit into the sequence is the odd sentence and the right answer. So statement one says, over the past fortnight, one of its finest champions. So we don't know what is its here. And therefore, one cannot be the opening sentence. Right? Wimbledon's greatest illusion is the sense of timelessness it evokes. So here we have Wimbledon's and this pronoun its refers most likely to Wimbledon. At 35 years and 342 days, Roger Federer became the oldest man to win the singles title in the open era. So again, this cannot be the opening sentence. Why? Because because uh, we must speak about what exactly is the is the is the event. Uh, Wimbledon is the event here, and in Wimbledon we have the singles title. So before we talk about three, we must talk about two because two is a better opening sentence of the paragraph. Once he refers to whom Roger Federer. So again, this cannot be the opening sentence given that his method. So again, we have his method refer referring to Roger Federer. So we definitely know that four and five will come after three. That means in the sequence, if I have to place, I will talk three, four, five like this, and basically. Uh, 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 two is uh, uh, two. Two can be uh, the 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 opening sentence, right? So let's have a look now because two, three, four, five, and uh, over the past fortnight, one of its finest champions. So even one looks like a good uh, a, a good way of arranging the sentence. But let's 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 hold on for a while and see what can be the opening sentence. So from the given sequence, we feel that two is likely to be the opening sentence. Wimbledon's greatest illusion is the sense of timelessness it evokes, and its finest champions is basically referring to the Wimbledon's champion, and therefore two one is basically a pair. Wimbledon's greatest illusion is the sense of timelessness it evokes over the past fortnight one of Wimbledon's finest champions managed to pull off a similar impression and what similar impression the timelessness and therefore this finest champion is none other than Roger Federer so we have three after that Wimbledon's greatest illusion is the sense of timelessness over the past fortnight one of its finest champions managed to pull off a similar impression at 35 years and 342 days Roger Federer became the oldest man to win the singles title right and then it says once he had survived the opening week now the opening week is basically a randomness because we are not describing the the tournament and how it how it unfolded and that's why fourth is not uh, the uh, the one that fits into the sequence in fact we are broadly speaking about wimbledon and then we gradually move to roger federer it is given that his method isn't reliant on explosive athleticism or muscular ball striking both vulnerable to decay there is cause to believe that federer will continue to enchant for a while longer now why this because now it says here right that uh, that uh, at 35 342 days roger federer is, is became the oldest man a full 14 years after he first claimed. So he is the oldest man and almost 14 years he has been into it. And he might enchant it for a little while longer. So fees of uh, the, the, the fifth statement is better. 2135 is the coherent paragraph. Fourth one is the odd one out because it speaks about the tournament specifically. While the focus of the passage is not about the tournament. It's basically about Wimbledon and Roger Federer and how he has basically shown the timelessness uh, about the about the tournament itself, right? So fourth is the odd one out.